going on, Bear Handians? Welcome to Gaming with Bear Hands. Today, we have got a lot of ground to cover and a very little time to do so. So I'm going to start up a replay, and then we're going to kind of talk about what I want to do today and uh, just kind of discuss some things. Crazy busy all day long. Just got done putting up shower walls in the bus house that we're working on. That was a lot of fun. Still need to end up puttying it up, but it was a little bit too cold tonight, and I didn't want to do that when it's... It's like in the 40 to 50s range, and that wouldn't really dry all that well. Also, wanted to get a video for you guys so that I had something to edit in the morning because I want to go to bed early, but then if I go to bed early to wake up early to edit a video, I won't have a video if I don't stay up late. You get the point. So we want to put something together, and today I want to talk about what's with Supercell and not having daily quests yet. I mean, okay, the game is good enough. We do not need daily quests, but wouldn't it be hilariously fun if they threw in, like, you could have so many. You can have so many varying difficulties of quests. Like, can you imagine a quest like, win a game where you got 800 to 1,000 damage on the tower with an ice spirit? Come on, that would be awesome. Or, today, our video is going to be all about goblins. We have got, in preparation of the new six goblin card coming out, uh, we are going to be playing a deck with all of the goblins available in one deck. And so we are, look at this. This, this is insanity. We're actually going to win this game against the Lava Hound deck. Granted, he is using the Inferno Tower, so... I don't see the Inferno Tower getting a whole lot of use, but we're going to be winning games with goblins. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you one other game that I played here on times two speed, because again, we do not have a whole lot of time. We're going to times two speed, and then we're going to jump into some live games and see if we can't win. We are setting up our goblin spawner in the back. It may not be the best place for us, but that's allowing me to then set the Inferno Tower, which is our our really only big unit killer that we have in this deck uh, and our executioner killer because the executioner slaughters us with goblins. I've had some pretty good success because I feel like I'm playing some absolutely insanely good defense with just goblins but we've got the dark goblin working in the back here making sure these skeletons don't kill us. We're gonna draw these large units over with the inferno tower. We've got the dragons that little baby dragon there just doing work against the goblins, but we're only soaking so much damage on the tower and we're just pressuring his tower so hard. We're just chip, chip, chipping away with that log. And then look at all those skeletons before his fireball can get there. We end up taking out the tower and check it out. He is unable to get to our tower in the last 10 seconds. So I've, I've actually been winning about a third, a third of the games that I play with this deck, and this is not a very good deck, in my opinion. You, you need a tank. We don't, we don't want a tank in this deck. The whole point of the deck is to play with all goblins. Just enjoy this thing. The guy really needed a zap spell. Uh, he's playing with a royal giant deck. He's throwing down Barbarians over on this side to clean up our Dark Goblin, which was an interesting play. Definitely committed a lot of Elixir there. Uh, and then we're just we're just going to chip away at these towers. He goes ahead and gets a nice push with his Royal Giant here. But I've got the Inferno Tower, and he doesn't have an answer to the Inferno Tower up. And so we just eat that to shreds for a nice Elixir trade. Uh, he's got this Skeleton Army running in, but we're going to clean that up with the Log. And then soaking damage is an important thing with this deck you you want to be able to soak just enough damage because you're going to have a lot of trouble taking out some of these pushes uh he's throwing his barbarians into our goblins the goblin spawner which is beautiful for us we're able to just keep killing them and chipping damage on the right hand tower uh i almost made the mistake of logging the uh, the uh you know, that guy with the cannon, the Royal Giant back, which would have pushed it out of range of the Inferno Tower, which I've made that mistake before once, and we don't want to make it again. So thankfully we were able to fireball clean that thing up. We clean up this Royal Giant while only soaking uh, like three hits. And check it out, the, the chip is real on his right hand tower. He decides to switch lanes to try and defend here. But we're not, we're not gonna let him. We end up, uh, again, taking one hit from the Royal Giant there while logging Inferno Tower and gobbling it. He's throwing down his Royal Giant back toward his tower. He wants to get his Barbarians down here to prevent 
the Inferno Tower from taking that out, and now he's got the Great Wall of Goblins there. They almost killed all the Fire Spirits before they got to him. Insane! Look at this. Throw a uh, Hipster Barrel. Hipster Barrel for the win right there. Uh, good game, Static X. It's all fun in games until you jump into live games and embarrass yourself in front of, in front of everybody. This is the deck. Goblins, Spear Goblins, Goblin Barrel, Dark Goblin, Goblin Spawner, Goblin Hut. And then for defense and chip, we've got the Inferno Tower for defense, which is our, our main defense. And then the Log and the Fireball, which I think we win a lot of these games based off of just the mass amount of damage we Fireball onto their tower. So... Can we get a win? Let's see. And we're playing against Jesus. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I'm okay losing this game. Okay, we're soaking, we're soaking way too much, way too much damage from that dude. Kill that man! No, our tower's down! No! <laughs> oh, man. All right, shot. I think this is the better play to the Dark Goblin. All right, he's building up. He's building up some kind of push here. So we need to get ready. Come out. Come out. Come out. Stop them. Oh. What what Brutality. <clears throat> All right, he's got the zap. He's got the zap. He's got the miner for our for our goblin hut here. I'm gonna set up the goblin hut again. I don't have a good answer for the miner. Oh. Oh, okay, so I said worst case scenario was the executioner, but this might be worse. This might be worse. <clears throat> All right, we need we need the inferno tower down. Uh, I need to prep our fireball for what's about to happen at this bridge. There it is. Fireball log. Bam, bam. Kill that wizard. Oh, and it still gets a hit off. Preposterous. All right, we're gonna dark goblin over here. There he goes, he zaps. You know what that means? He just used a zap. We're chipping some damage here. I want him to play a card on the left. Throw that ice wizard down. Boom! Regular goblins, goblin barrel. There we go. Check out that damage. Real damage right there. No! Fireball! Log! Goblins! Don't do it! Don't do it to my tower! Oh, he's got my tower down below a thousand! Alright, there's a zap again. We need to take advantage of that zap being gone. Ice Spirit is going to soak some good damage, but we've got his tower now down below a thousand, and it is it's time to go right now. Look at that! 600 damage! Don't even want to talk. I have to hold my breath. What? What? What's going on? Shop. Come on, give me another crown. No! Ah! He just left. One more, one more, one more. Hey, guys. Guys, take this out for a try as a challenge upon yourself and see if you can't get yourself a win with the Go Go Goblin deck. Go 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 Goblins! Musketeer is down. Okay, look look at the look at the damage we got and this man has a level 10 musketeer. Goblins, log, oh, come out. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ugh. 
fireball of the century. Holy cow. The only reason why, the only reason why I could possibly win games like this is because of insane overcommitments like that. Oh, uh, that's gonna kill that, right? I haven't seen a Dark Goblin, or a uh, Zap Spell. Alright, we can't let the Baby Dragon tank for all of that. That would just be an insane amount of damage. <clears throat> I've extended quite a bit here. I need to prep back up. I need to prep back up for that uh, Barbarian Prince push that he's inevitably going to throw down on us. Uh, okay. Let's throw this in here. Let's throw this in here. This down here. I'm not scared of the witch by itself. Uh, his bowler's coming down. I know the bowler's coming down. And that's just too much. That's too much to let go. We're going to go ahead and throw our fireball into that. Now that his bowler is down, I feel pretty confident in getting this down. And I'm going to... No! I was unable to stop the, the prince. Unable to stop the prince there. Now I've got to do some some finagling here. I need to surround. No! Another bowler. Okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Just relax. Throw the fireball. Surround this. Now that the bowler's targeting something, we're able to throw down here. And now I need to get the uh, this Inferno Tower down. That's way far back. That's way far back. A uh, King Leonardo. King Leonardo. Okay, again, bow and bow. Oh man, we didn't get to see the the mayhem the fireball was gonna cause. I can't believe we won two games in a row. One of them was a little. One of them was a little janky, but this one was legit. And wouldn't it be a blast to have quests? Win with all the goblin cards. Deal 800 damage to a tower with an ice spirit. Kill the king tower before either of the other towers fall i mean just crazy things that are gonna get players out there doing really unconventional things forcing them to play in different ways with cards that they might not necessarily be used to playing can't tell you how good it is to finally feel like i'm not dying i'm still a little congested but i am on my way to a full recovery so i appreciate all of the support that you guys continuously give to me don't forget to comment like and subscribe can't wait to see you in the next video don't forget to come back for more gaming with bare hands have an awesome day see you in the next one